Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. Today we're going to be looking at one of the new Rune Words that's going to be added in 2.6 PTR, and keep in mind that these are not completely finished, so they may be subject to change. But this is the Rune Word Bulwark. Now, I have gone ahead and created some uh, mock versions that you can download in my item pack, but this is the actual screenshot, and uh, I've taken this screenshot and basically created the Rune Words for you. You can download them in D2R LOD, you can download them in... D2 LOD, uh, you know, like doesn't really matter, like whether you're gonna play Diablo 2 Resurrected or Diablo 2 LOD, you can have some fun with these items. Um, they do roll between some various modifiers, and we're gonna go over those modifiers right now. So as you can see right off the bat, we have 20% um, faster hit recovery, which is coming of course from the Shale Rune in the recipe. Uh, we have Shale IO Soul. Now, um, IO is the most expensive rune in that recipe, and it's not even really that expensive, to be honest. Um, I usually end up with a bunch of IOs toward the end of the ladder, like just sitting around doing nothing, and you end up up transmuting them because you don't have anything to do with them. So it's actually really cool that they decided to do this particular recipe that includes this. Now, every single one of these rune words has a different ending, and the ending determines what the resistance is going to be. So for fire, it was Ral rune. For lightning, it was the Ort rune. For cold, it was the Thul rune. And for poison, it was the Tal rune. And so, of course, for the physical version, it is going to be the soul rune. Now, the soul rune is giving this also a damage reduced by 7, which is pretty nice, especially for level 35, which is a relatively low level in general. Now, the rune word rolls between... 4% and 6% lifesteal. And that lifesteal is absolutely amazing because that means that you can very easily get a 20% faster hit recovery, 6% lifesteal helmet for your mercenary at level 35, which this is probably going to be the new helmet that people use alongside the Insight rune word. So Insight doesn't have any lifesteal. But this does. Not only does this have lifesteal, but it also has pretty decent defense and faster hit recovery, which mercenaries in general, especially the Act 2 mercenary, have absolutely terrible faster hit recovery frames. Very bad. I'm talking about like equivalent to the Sorceress bad. And uh, you know how easily the Sorceress can get stuck in a faster hit recovery loop and die. Um, we also have a really nice defense bonus on here that rolls from 75 to 100%, and of course you can get that a little bit higher if you have some uh, modifiers, like a 15% enhanced superior helmet. Uh, we have 10 vitality, which of course comes from the IO rune, and that is not going to affect the mercenary, unfortunately. Mercs don't actually have the vitality stat. But for players, uh, and this actually is a really nice helmet for players, uh, this is a pretty decent amount of HP for most melee and ranged characters. Now granted, it's going to vary depending on your character, like sorceresses and necromancers aren't really going to get very much, but um, I don't really think sorceresses and necromancers are going to use this particular variant very often. Uh, we also get uh, increased maximum life 5%, which does affect the mercenary, which is going to stack, obviously, with the, the plus vitality, which is very nice. And then we get a massive 30 replenish life, which is really, really awesome. Now, unfortunately, as far as I am aware, Replenish Life does not work on mercenaries because mercenaries have their own specific regeneration system, which is separate from the way that Replenish Life works. So again, another effect that's really only going to affect players. However, 30 Replenish Life is so massive that, quite honestly, you could just simply make this helmet and throw it on anybody just for the free regeneration. And that's like not even counting anything else that's going on on the helmet. I mean, to give you an idea, like 30 Replenish Life is more than most single items have in the game. And on top of that, even if you combine together two of the highest replenished life items in the game, you probably would just barely hit 30. I'm talking about like Verdungos and um, I, can't, I can't even think of another one right off the top of my head that people use on a regular basis. Um, the DR7 is absolutely amazing for level 35 and it's just going to reduce all damage that comes in by a flat 7, which is absolutely great. And then on top of that, we also have 15% physical damage reduction, which rolls between 10 to 15%. So we do have two, well, three rolls here on this helmet. The lifesteal, the defense, and the physical DR. Now, obviously, at a Shale IO Soul, it's not really going to be something that you're going to have to worry about, you know, re-rolling. Like, if you want to re-roll it a couple times till you get a perfect one, you totally could. And this, honestly, is a really good option for mercenaries and physical damage characters just in general, because 
it is essentially like a low-level vampire gaze that you can craft for relatively nothing. I mean, you can farm every single one of these runes in this particular recipe from, like, Nightmare Countess if you wanted to. And uh, for the most part, whenever I do a playthrough of Diablo, I always end up with plenty of shales and ios. Although for some reason this season, I couldn't find a soul to save my life. But maybe that's just because I'm a ginger. Now, um, you can download these. I have these all available for you to download in my item pack if you'd like to pick them up. Um, all you have to do is um, download the item pack, and uh, you can either use my hero editor or you can use the D2R Rune Wizard hero editor. doesn't matter which one. Or you can just copy the character files into your save folder, and you can just take them off of there. They will look just like this. You'll load them up, and they will have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 helmets on them, um, including the two ethereal versions that you can test out with the mercenaries. And... Um, just have a little bit of fun with it. I mean, I've got a uh, Shockwave Werebear Oak Sage. I've got a uh, Fury Heart of the Wolverine Werewolf. I also threw in a uh, Natural Resistance Battle Orders Shout. And then also your generic regular Death Mask. And then the Ethereal version of both of the ones that can be put on the Mercenaries. Um, and, uh, I mean, all in all, this one is probably the most powerful of the lot. It's really the lifesteal and really nothing else. Like, I do like that physical damage reduction, don't get me wrong, but that lifesteal is really what makes this helmet into a helmet that people are gonna make on a regular basis. Because this represents exactly what I was talking about earlier in my live stream. I kid you not, uh, yesterday I was doing a live stream for my solo self found sorceress, and I was talking about how there really needed to be a low level option that you could craft with a rune word that had lifesteal on it. And, and I said, you know, that way, if you wanted to make an insight for your mercenary, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about the fact that your mercenary doesn't have any life leech. And this represents probably the easiest and best way for you to add life leech to your mercenary, bar none. And that's just the life leech on its own. If we account for the fact that it has the 20% fast hit recovery, the defense, and the physical DR, along with the DR7, it makes an absolutely amazing mercenary helmet and it also gives him that increased maximum life five percent but not even just the mercenary i feel like this is probably one of the best low level melee or ranged helmets that you can make for like paladins amazons barbarians druids it's probably going to be the helmet that most people put on their characters around level 35 because number one it's super cheap number two it that replenish life 30 is kind of freaking ridiculous and I'd love to actually work that into a Replenish Life build, because I think it would just be absolutely amazing as far as a Replenish Life build goes. Um, I'm not sure what they would tweak about this. I feel like, unlike the other rune words, unlike Hearth, Temper, Cure, and Ground, this one is very strong. And if anything, unfortunately, I feel like what they're going to do is maybe bring it down a hair. Because it's already a very powerful rune word. In fact, I could totally even see, like, some freaking, maybe a, a, a werewolf or a, a barbarian even finding, like, a perfect helmet and just throwing this in there anyway, just for the fun of it. Because Replenish Life 30 and 15% physical DR is really freaking sick. And I'm not really sure if it would really compete with, like, some of the other options that, you know, these particular characters have uh, to them, like Jalal's or, uh, you know, a, you know Ariat's face. But um, it could be a very fun alternative option. And just something fun to do in general is to find, like, a perfect helmet and then throw this in there just to see what it looks like. Uh, which, that's close. I mean, something like this, like a plus three Fury, plus three Hold of the Wolverine, plus three Werewolf. I mean, it's it's close, I guess. Um, I'm not exactly sure specifically what skills you would want on something like this. I mean, tell me what you guys think about this one down in the comments. I think this one is the strongest one of of the helmets that, of this set. And and I actually am very impressed, and I do like the fact that they've worked the Io Rune into all these recipes, because the Io Rune has been like the redheaded stepchild of the family 
of the rune world because it just never really had its own little recipe to use. Nothing nothing to spam it on, you know? Now, unlike the hell rune, which you could use for removing recipe, you know, uh, rune words, or, you know, like the shale rune, which is used in, like, everything, and and so forth and so on. Like, the Io rune really just had, like, two recipes, and even those two recipes didn't get made that often. So you just ended up with a whole lot of them sitting around. Uh, the Dole rune is another one that is very much in that boat. There's just not a lot of good recipes for the Dole rune, and it just doesn't really have the same... Like, you end up with, like, literally, like, 100 Dole runes by the end of the season if you don't, like, sell them or get rid of them or tr up transmute them. Um... I'm going to be looking forward to more rune words. Uh, there are going to be quite a few coming out tomorrow, so do keep your eyes open for those. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.